Right now our app is looking pretty good. I can go in here to uh, the, the input box and start typing in keep learning React Native and then hit add to do and it's going to add in that to do. But if I hit this button some more, it's not adding in uh, new um, you know, to do's basically. You know, even if I change this to say learn React JS and I hit add to do, it's just going to change the one that's there. It's not adding anything in. It's not appending things down in a list, which is what we want. So what we're going to start doing now is we're going to start using JavaScript arrays and uh, and this JavaScript map function and kind of getting familiar with how you can render in a list of information using React. Now I don't know if you've used any kind of uh, JavaScript libraries in the past, but when it comes to React and rendering out lists, I don't think there's any better JavaScript library for doing that. React is the best in my opinion, and I've used quite a few of them. So what we're going to do is inside the state, instead of having the the string that we had there, we're going to go ahead and put in uh, two array braces, right? And we're going to go down here where we have this this dot state dot to do, and cut this out. So I'm going to cut that and replace it with a couple of curly braces. Now inside of here, what I want to do is I want to call a function that we haven't written yet called this dot render to do's, plural. And I'll put uh, parentheses on it so that we're making sure that once this render function runs and we get to this line, it's going to call this function. Now we haven't written it yet, but what we're going to be doing is creating this render to do's function the same way that we hit, we made an add to do function, and instead of this function doing something like adding a to do, setting the state, this render to do's function is going to be returning some code back into the uh, the, the return right here. So we're going to actually add in um, you know that that text right in here. It's almost like having a small component within your component. So what we need to do is we need to return some code. And we're going to say return this dot state dot to do. Okay, so we're getting an array here. And then we're going to use the JavaScript built in dot map function. Put some parentheses there. And this is going to map over every item in the array. So what we want to do in here is we're just going to say, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, put the parameter as T, you know, standing for to do, and then make an arrow function. And then we're going to uh, open up these curly braces here and we're going to need another return so that way we're returning something every single time in this function and then at the end it'll basically be pieced together and returned as a whole for this render to do okay now in here this is where we're just going to put um, almost almost it's almost looking identical to the way we have the return here where we have like the parentheses and then we can just put in whatever we want to return right here so I'm going to say text and then this dot state dot to do. Now instead of this dot state dot to do, which is currently an array, we just want to say t. So for every single thing in that uh, in that array, we just want to return down. So if I run this right now, nothing's gonna pop up on screen because we don't have anything in the array. But if I were to pre-populate this, like let's say you know I said um, learn React and learn React Native. And uh, build apps, and then I save this. Now what's going to happen is it's going to render in that list of of information right here that I have in that array because we're mapping it over, and then it's rendering it out down here right below that button. So this is pretty helpful. Now you might notice right here I'm getting a little warning, and you, you may have noticed we've gotten some other warnings before. Sometimes the warnings are, you can just disregard them, but this one is actually something we want to take care of. So it says, warning, each child in array or iterator should have a unique key prop. And basically all that means is whenever you're doing, whenever you're rendering over multiple things with like the, the dot map function, it's basically just saying it wants this returned code to have a unique key property so that React can kind of keep track of each list item and all you have to do is just say key is equal to and then give it some sort of um, unique ID now we don't have an ID because everything we have in here is just a string but because each string is different you know this one's learn react this one's learn react native this one's build apps we can just we can just go ahead and put T in there and it'll take it just fine so if I hit save you'll see the same thing's gonna pop up on screen but this time I don't get that warning
Now in the next video, we're actually going to make it so that we can, you know, add something in and then hit add to do. Right now, you notice I just got an error because I just tried to add a to do to that list, but we're setting the entire state to just a string and then we're trying to map over that string. So it doesn't quite make sense. Um, so in the next video, we're going to uh, find a way to just add that item that we want to, you know, submit into this list here. So I'll see you in the next uh, section and clear up this error.